moving on then, we have some new painting sets from the Army Painter, and this is mm -hmm. specifically for D&D, yeah? Yeah. So uh, the guys at the Army Painter, who have been doing a lot of amazing paints over the last couple of months and years, have uh, been showing off uh, some previews of what's coming for their D&D range. So they are going to be doing uh, two different paints. Uh, the first of them are 10 different paints for you to use for adventurers. And then there are going to be 36 different paints which you can use for your monsters. Uh, both of these different sets are going to come with a free miniature in each of them, so you can test out all your schemes on them as well, which is really cool. And they've been working in conjunction with Wizards of the Coast and Gale Force 9 to create these, um, these different formulas and stuff. So, of course, it wouldn't be Army Painter if they didn't try something nice and experimental. So, as you can imagine, they're going to be doing some really nice themed paints that can be used specifically for your fantasy adventurers with that kind of high fantasy style that you get from D&D 5th Edition, as well as loads of really fantastic colours for your different monsters so they're going to pop on the tabletop. Mm -hmm. They're also going to be doing a set of D&D themed brushes as well. So, if you want to really go all in on the whole D&D thing, you can pick up some new brushes as well from these guys too. So, yeah. Cool. That'll be pretty cool. cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. They, they, they've been very enthusiastic to get on to, to other ranges and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, like mm -hmm. doing paint sets for all sorts of different games mm -hmm. and, and working yeah. with other companies on what colours they need and everything mm -hmm. like that. And it, it's it's good to see uh, a paint company just become so expansive. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's almost, it's it's the perfect business. Mm -hmm. You walk in and there's no way you're escaping on a painter. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the thing with these sets is it kind of takes the thinking out of it for yeah. you know a new person getting into it I mean, yeah whenever yeah. we all first started painting we all probably started on say the games workshop range mm. and you would walk in and you would you would see colors and you would have someone in the store there to say oh you want that one that one or that one but with the the industry being so expansive now i say i'm brand new to painting i look at army painter and i go okay i want green but what shade <laughs> green i want green but which shade of green i want green yeah. It needs to be more green. Um, <laughs> the, the the thing I'm I'm taking away from Army Painter doing all this yeah. really interesting stuff is that they're doing what they're they're doing for wargaming what Vallejo has done for scale modeling. Mm. You go to Vallejo for anything. Mm. You do any sort of scale modeling. You do aircraft ships. Yeah, land you vehicles, can find it. Yeah. You will find the paint that you need from their range, and within their range, they have stuff like. Panzer Ace is funnily enough good for tanks, <laughs> and they do all sorts of different ranges yeah. in that. Yeah, and Plus they do like uh, specific color tone sets. Yeah, yeah, uh, very useful to have. Mm -hmm.